Hey, I'm Coach Ryan Penn here and I'm in the Viper Pit today. And I'd like to talk to you, give you a little tidbit to let you know whether or not you're ready from a calorie standpoint to start a fat loss diet. Here's the fact of the matter. Human metabolism is a moving target and will respond and adapt to whatever you do. Over the course of dieting, if you need to lose weight, okay, you're going to have to enter a calorie deficit for the most part. If you want to drop weight, Yes, there's something to be said for quote unquote recomping where you keep your body weight the same and lose body fat and gain muscle, but typically it's better to do it in phases. Losing weight and then gaining some muscle, then losing some weight and gaining some muscle. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. If you need to lose body weight, you are going to have to achieve a calorie deficit. And that means eating below your needs to the point where you're actively losing weight on the scale over time. A lot of people start their diet plan off with calories that are too low and here I'm going to prevent that I'm going to teach you how to prevent that and what to do about it. So there's some equations you can use but a really simple fact that I like to use, simple method that I like to use, I don't want to call it a fact, but is using the multipliers of 14 to 16 times body weight and that number should give you the number of calories you should be able to eat and keep your body weight relatively stable if you have a healthy metabolism. So what does that look like? A 200 pound individual looking at 14 to 16 times body weight should be able to eat around 2,800 to 3,200 calories per day without body weight going up or down. That is to stay right at 200 pounds, okay? This is for an active individual, okay, and it is a range. If you are not in that range, we're above the range. Above the range is good. If you're a 200 pound individual and you need to eat 4,000 calories to keep your body weight stable, that's a good thing. Okay, but if you are below that 14 times body weight number, your metabolism is not in a good enough place to start a diet. Because the fact of the matter is, you have to gradually trim calories over time. Metabolism will adapt, so metabolism is going to slow down the further you get into a diet. So if you have a lot of weight to lose and you're starting below this number, you've basically giving yourself no room to pull calories from later on. Just take an example, I had this happen before. 200 pound individual comes to me, body weight is maintaining, so they're not dropping any weight at all on a thousand calories per day. So, if I wanted them to drop body fat, or drop body weight, what would that mean? I'd have to take them down to probably seven or 800 calories a day. Guess what? That's going to work for a couple weeks and then they're going to stall out again. Then what? You have to take them down to 500 calories a day. You can see where over time this gets dangerous. You have to allow yourself enough room. So what do you do if this is you? What do you do if you are below this 14 times body weight number but you have a lot of body fat to lose? Here's the harsh reality. It's a pill you're not going to want to swallow but I'm giving it to you straight. You're going to have to spend some time gradually increasing your calories to the point where you can maintain in that window. Remember, metabolic rate is adaptable. So what I would do, this is you would eat 1,000 calories a day at 200 pounds, and that's how you maintain. I would start by going up to maybe uh, 1150. Okay, so we're just adding 150 calories, maybe 1200. Okay, that's 50 grams of carbs a day. That's not a lot of an increase. Okay, and we're gonna hang out there for maybe two to three weeks. What you're gonna notice, first two days you add calories, this might go 201, 202, 203. Oh gosh, freak out. But then after when your metabolism catches up, it'll drop back down. It'd be lower. You might go 200, 201, 202, 199. Okay, that's your metabolism increasing. Once you see that drop, then you push calories up again. So we go from 1150 to maybe 1350 or 1400. Again, same thing's gonna happen. Body weight's gonna climb, body weight's gonna climb, body weight's gonna climb, and it's gonna drop again. Assuming you're active and you're living a healthy lifestyle, eating your quality foods. Okay? There is a possibility that body weight will continue to go up, but that's okay because we are getting you to a point where you have a healthy functional metabolic rate, you're not in a severely undernutrition, undernourished state, and your body is prepared to then lose body fat. So what do you, once you get to this range and your body weight is stable, hang out there for four to six weeks and just hang there, okay? And then you can initiate a slight calorie deficit to start working your way down, okay?
human, meta, human metabolism is no fun sometimes. It seems a little bit cruel, but it's for survival. And that is, that is what your body wants to do. It wants to survive. It does not know whether you're trying to lose body fat or whether you're starving on a desert island. So these mechanisms are for our benefit, but it can be frustrating sometimes when you uh, want to change your body and you're not prepared to do it. So hope this tip worked for you today. If you're not in this range or higher, get there first before you start trying to drop body fat. I'm Coach Ryan from the family from the Viper Pit. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe below and I will see you later.